When I became aware of my surrounding, uh, there was no electricity. It was quiet then. The land was white, no dust, nothing but green grass, tall green grass, so pretty. It used to start freezing beginning last part of October from the edges. And then by January, the ocean ice is thick. Those were good days when the ice warmed to 30 feet thick, solid ice. And you trust that you're safe on the ice and that it provided for you. Things are just not the same anymore. When the big waves are coming in, I always watch those ducks down there, and they're scared. They always sense the bad weather. The temperatures in the Arctic are rising faster than anywhere else in the world, and that swift rise has brought dramatic changes to dozens of small Alaska Native villages along the coast. The thick ice that once protected them from storms is gone. And as the earth warms, so does the land, now so soft that it crumbles into the water with each wave that hits the shore. Last night I saw homes being thrashed in my mind's eye, falling into the land failure. That's why I couldn't fall asleep. The changes have pushed communities in Alaska to face an impossible question. Where do you go when forces beyond your control take your home? When it gets bad here, you can hear it. And I know it's gonna erode somewhere out there. The ocean gets rough. The ice really crumbles together. And if you get stuck out there, then that's it. You know, there's nothing you can do but find God. <laughs> 